Hello everyone, welcome to another Foxtech video, Foxtech tutorial. This time we talk about how you can turn off Safari syncing between iPhone and the iPad. Now it works uh, because you are connected in the same network of Apple devices. So the important thing is that if your iPad and Safari on the iPhone are synced, it's probably because you are logged in with the same Apple ID. Now, if you come back to the main section in the settings, you can tap on your name at the top and see your Apple ID. And here are all of the devices which are logged in with that. So I have my iPad, Macs and iPhones in here. So all of these devices are just connected through iCloud because I have logged in with the same Apple ID. Anyway, to stop sharing or to turn off syncing between iPhone and iPad, you need to go to the settings and tap on your name because here's where you can control the iCloud stuff. And all you have to do is of course tap on iCloud. You can browse here the current state of your storage. Mine is full, but here are apps using iCloud. So you have photos, drive, a bunch of stuff, but also show all button which is gonna show every single app listed in here. And if you see Safari is one of them and I have the green check there, the toggle is on. So what I need to do is to disable it if I wanna stop using the Safari syncing from the iPad. By the way, guys, if you wanna know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is gonna be the All Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's gonna explain every single app on your iPhone. It's gonna be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. So if I turn it off like this, it asks me where it, of course, turns off Safari, but I have two options. I can keep stuff on my iPad or delete it from my iPad. Now, what is this stuff? What's the data? The previously synced iCloud data in regards to Safari are basically all the bookmarks and all the websites, the cookies, everything that you have visited, even on other devices. So yes, let's say that I'm connected with my iPhone in here. And if I just bookmark something on my iPhone, since I have everything synced through iCloud, it's going to be bookmarked on my iPad as well. And those bookmarks made from iPhone can either be deleted or kept on my iPad when I turn it off. So let's say I deleted. Now my Safari is going to become clear of other influences. And my Safari on iPad is like disconnected from other devices Safari. So that's like one way to do it. But of course you can do the very same thing from the iPhone. So let's say that you also only want to do it or delete syncing, turn off syncing from the iPhone and you want to keep iPad and other devices synced. It's up to you as well. The very same process applies here. So on your iPhone, again, you go to your name, iCloud, show all, and you can see that Safari is turned on in here, but it's not turned on on my iPad. So I can just reverse it the same uh, questions if I want to keep the data or delete it, but that's just how it works. And also you can just re-enable it anytime you want. So everything's going to be merged together, all the bookmarks. And, and as I said, all the data is going to become part of my iPad Safari right now, since I turned it back on. So that's about it. That's everything what I wanted to explain to you. That's the whole process behind it. If you have found this video useful, make sure to leave a thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below because you don't want to miss the next videos where I teach you how you can use your iPad the best way. That's, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later. Peace.